Hello friends, a very good morning to all of you. In the last class we have derived safe function for CST element. Now in this video we will derive the strain displacement matrix for CST element that is constant strain triangle. Okay. So we are going to derive strain displacement relationship matrix. Okay. Last class we have derived the displacement values these displacement matrix in terms of safe function that is n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 here see the orientation u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 okay if suppose it will be n1 n2 n3 0 0 0 so here you have to make some change like uh, u1 u2 u3 v1 v2 v3 okay but here i have written like n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 so here it is u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 and v3 so if the equation that we are getting after the multiplication you can see here n1 into u1 0 into v1 n2 into u2 0 into v2 n3 into u3 0 into v3 so you are getting u equals to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 plus n3 u3 similarly you will get for v also v equals to n1 v1 plus n2 v2 plus n3 v3 now at any point in a constant strain triangle used for plane stress or plane strain problems there are three strain components given by the first one is our normal strain in x direction normal strain in y direction okay and the third one is our shear strain shear strain one by one we will see in detail okay so the normal strain in x direction epsilon x is given by du by dx here u is nothing but displacement in x direction okay so when we will differentiate this u term with respect to x okay and we all know that this n1 n2 and n3 is a function of x and y so it will become dn1 by dx into u1 plus dn2 by dx into u2 plus dn3 by dx into u3 here u1 u2 and u3 is nothing but the displacement of the three nodal points of your constant strain triangle in x direction okay similarly we will calculate the normal strain in y direction epsilon y it is given by dv by dy here v is the vertical displacement with respect to the vertical direction y so again it will become dn1 by dn1 by dy into v1 dn2 by dy into v2 plus dn3 by dy into v3 this is partial differential okay of u and v where n1 n2 and n3 is a function of x and y we have derived when we are deriving the safe function for constant strain triangle now the third term is our shear strain in xy plane the expression for this shear strain gamma xy is given by du by dy plus dv by dx you remember this du by dy plus dv by dx now you have to do this partial derivative with respect to du by dy with respect to y dv by dx the partial derivative of this v with respect to x so you will get this expression okay now you see dn1 by dy into u1 dn2 by dy into u2 dn3 by dy into u3 plus the v terms now we have three equations here this we can consider as equation number one this is our equation number two this is our equation number three now we will try to write this in in the form of matrix yeah so epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y that is normal strain in x direction normal strain in y direction and this is our shear strain if we write this in terms of uh, the the previous equations in matrix form we will get this matrix dn1 by dx 0 dn2 by dx 0 dn3 by dx 0 okay if you remember for just to remembering purpose for your examination point of view you can see in your previous slide here n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 so these two columns you have to do the partial derivative and you have to add one more one more uh, row that is 
dn1 by dy dn1 by dx dn2 by dy dn2 by dx dn3 by dy dn3 by dx okay keeping in view this configuration u1 v1 u2 v2 and u3 v3 now yesterday we have derived expressions for n1 n2 and n3 okay here these are the safe functions of a constant strain triangle okay here capital a is the area of your triangle and here i am representing by alpha 1 beta 1 and gamma 1 so n1 equals to 1 upon 2a alpha 1 plus beta 1x plus gamma 1 y n2 is 1 upon 2a alpha 2 plus beta 2x plus gamma 2y n3 equals to 1 upon 2a alpha 3 plus beta 3 plus gamma 3y now what we have to do we have to do its partial derivative with respect to x and y so what we will do we will do the partial derivative of n with respect to x n1 n2 and n3 with respect to x n1 n2 n3 with respect to y ultimately you will get uh, this third row also okay so now we have done the partial derivative see here dn1 by dx okay dn1 by dx if you will differentiate this with respect to x what you will get this is a constant term derivative of constant is 0 this is y term and we are differentiating it with respect to x so this will also be treated as a constant so what is remaining this term beta 1 x so derivative of beta 1 x is beta 1 upon 2a you will get okay similarly for n2 by dn2 by dx you will get beta 2 upon 2a dn3 by dx you will 3 you will get beta 3 by 2 similarly you will get other terms also here you will get gamma 1 by 2a gamma 2 by 2a and gamma 3 by 2a now we have to substitute these values in this matrix one thing you can observe here 1 upon 2a is common with all the terms so we can take this term out here now i am going to write that matrix c epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y it is becoming 1 upon 2a i am taking it common outside beta 1 0 beta 2 0 beta 3 0 okay so 1 upon 2a is common for all the term and you will get this matrix so the above equation can be written as strain equals to this matrix into this displacement matrix a strain equals to b i am writing here this is called as strain displacement relation for cst element okay so this is nothing but what we are going to derive b capital b you remember strain displacement matrix this will be given by this expression where beta 1 is y2 minus y3 beta 2 is y3 minus y1 and beta 3 is y1 minus y2 this we have seen in our previous derivation similarly gamma 1 equals to x3 minus x2 gamma 2 equals to x1 minus x3 and gamma 3 equals to x2 minus x1 okay so that's all for today thank you